The roses aren't as pretty The sun isn't quite as high The birds don't sing as sweet of a lullaby The stars are a little bit faded The clouds are just a little more gray And it feels like things won't ever be the same Heaven got another angel the night You left this world behind Heaven got a little better the day They took you away from me I'm missing you tonight I'll see you again sometime For now I'll close my eyes And dream of heaven tonight The beaches aren't as lovely The sky isn't quite as blue Still there, sweetened by the memory of you Seems that heaven isn't all that far Heaven got another angel the night You left this world behind Heaven got a little better the day That it took you away from me I'm missing you tonight I'll see you again sometime For now I'll close my eyes Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen Take this time We are gathered here this afternoon to tell us the stories of the life of Kathleen Lee Lord Make me know my head, the measure of my days, what it is that I may know how frail I am. Behold, thou hast made my days a hundred, and my age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best, skin is altogether vanity. Sailor, surely every man walketh in a vain shoe. Surely they are disquieted in vain. He happeth on riches and knoweth not who shall get them. And no one. What I wait for, my hope is in thee. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me a not reproach of the foolish. I was dumb. I opened my mouth. Because thou didst remove thy stroke from me, I am consumed by the blow of thy hands. When thou rebukes, thou correctest.
and we ask you to help them in your comfort. Bless them all. Those who are mourning, bless them with the spirit of love. Those who are just concerned, Lord, show them that you are the one who makes all things. And Lord, even those who are unsettled, give them your peace. And so, Lord, we commit this time into your hands and we ask for your blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the hymn, O oh Lord my God.
not going through the best. Different points of your way through different things at this time. But just come, you can sit down, come and bring you. Come right here, let me bring you. The close members of the family, close members of the family, come. And you're doing well so far, come. One little circle, one little bump that hug each other from. One, one little circle, come, come around here. Come around here, you need to come around, come around, come around. Come around, right to the circle, come around. Hallelujah. Just put your arms around each other. As a sign of unity. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Let us pray for you. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing over every single one of them. We don't know what they're going through right now. We ask you to touch them. Touch them in the name of Jesus. Bless them, Lord God, in every sense of the word blessing. Bless them in their going out and in their coming. Watch over them, Lord God, by your peace. Hallelujah. Give them peace at this time. Oh, Lord, only you can calm the tongue, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, watch over them. Lord, this woman has been a blessing to them for most of their lives, Lord. Hallelujah. Perhaps for all their lives. But Lord, God, may you be a blessing to them, Lord, that she has passed. May you fill the gap, fill the void, and hold them to the comfort of their love. Hallelujah. Just put a fence around them, Lord, God, for their own protection and their own well-being. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Let it touch him. Hallelujah. In every sense of the word of that touch him. Just touch him in the Lord. So that they are hugging each other as a sign of unity. Lord, we pray that you will unite them under the bond and purpose of moving forward in the principle called love. Hallelujah. Let them just show love to each other. Understand? This power of this happening or whatever the situation. Let them love each other. Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, one. one. Yes, yes. And bless them. Come on, give them a hug. No, 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 not two hugs. One person at a time. One person at a time. One person at a time. And you're all washed out. Cause it rained on your parade. Seems nobody cares about you anyway. Now you're living your life like a castaway. Search for strength inside. Was it all in vain? Cause the deeper you dig, you find more and more pain. Don't let your tomorrow be like yesterday. Cause I spoke to God, I called out your name. And on your behalf, I just asked if he would be there for you.
can't believe. Yes. You will never forget this day. And I tell you why. You'll never forget the day at your the funeral of your relative, um, Kathleen, and somebody came and gave you a home. You'll never forget it. A home is a special human blessing. A home is a special human recuperative instrument and audience. I just want to congratulate you. You did a marvelous job because it was pure laughter and stuff in her view. Whatever would have been the emotional fallout for a moment, it gave way to an expression of joy. Simply because you came and you did this. May the Lord continue to bless you, family, and may you recover all lost grown. Because Kathleen would have wanted to recover all lost grown. She didn't want you to stay in a state of stasis now that she has passed. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we are going to be having a responsive reading, and so I'm going to ask you to stand up while we read responsibly. I lift up my eyes to the hill. From where will my help come? My help comes from God, who made heaven and earth. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shield at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we have the reading of the first passage of scripture. 
It will be taken from John chapter 14. You have four in your reading, um, in your program, but that's a correct John. John 14, verse 1 to 7. Mr. Richard West, grandson. Reading from John 14, verses 1 to 7. Let not your hearts be troubled. Ye believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not for so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said, said unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus, Jesus says unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should not ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. At this time in the having the remembrance, we surely granddaughter will come and will did I pronounce the name right? You know, some of these modern names, they are a little hard to pronounce, but I forgot it right.
Carol Teru. We'll call her and we'll be singing for us. Oh, it's Miss Carol. It's not Miss Carol. Okay, um, this was a song that is kept in night. It's my way by Frank Sinatra.
bride, dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with men, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death, or mourning, or crying, or pain. For the old, old order of things has passed away. He who has seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, write us down for these words of trustworthy and true.
give you thanks for this offering. For those who give, we ask your blessing over the Lord. And may you multiply their storehouse many times over. For those who did not, may you bless them just as well, Lord. The Father, we ask you in the name of Jesus to use this offering for the furtherance of the goal and the blessing of people through the ministry and the program called Red Cross. Father, we know that they have done tremendous work across the face of this world. But Lord, we anoint those who are charged with the administrative responsibility to use these funds wisely. And so Lord, we ask your blessing on the, the, the areas that these funds are to be used. In Jesus' name we pray. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a short passage of scripture, well, actually two verses of scripture we will be It is taken from Revelation chapter 19, verse 11, and then we read verse 19. I saw heavens standing open, and there before me I saw a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges. And make war. The rider is making war. His eyes are like blazing fire, and on his heads are many crowns. He has a name written on him that no one knows but himself. Jumping down to verse 19. Then I saw the beasts and the kings of the earth. And their armies and gather together to make war. So there are two characters in this portion of scripture that are making war. The rider is making war, and the beast is making war. But it states specifically that the beast is making war against the rider of the horse and his army. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not, you are involved in a pawn game, which is a war. You are involved in a game, which is a war. There is a war fighting on both sides of a spiritual spectrum. The rider fighting a war over here, and the beast fighting a war over here. And you are right in the middle, humans are right in the middle of this war. There are many wars happening in the world today. Did you know that there's a war being raged in Jamaica today? Did you know that there's a war? Hands up. Nobody know that there's a war being raged in Jamaica today? There's a war in Jamaica today. If you don't know, as a matter of fact, all you know, there's a war of chicken and the bunyan war over there. <laughs> no, sir. And many persons have been right here in the battle in the mid between the chicken, the bunyan, the mosquitoes, and whatever is fighting the war. You know what I'm saying? And on a few who are but they get involved. No so we don't we we shouldn't have anything to do with that war. Mosquito war fighting, whomever you want fighting, war and leave us. No so no many persons, even some sitting right here, would have gone and are recovering. Some of us don't get it yet. So we don't do we don't want to get it blocked by one panadal, one panadal, one panadal. But guess what? There's a war that is now being waged in the world that most of us don't want to come and make a war call it down. No, most, our health system can't handle that war, right? And our culture cannot handle it either. Because we, although sometimes people say we are unhelpful, but we are not as unhelpful as Jamaicans as some people are labeling us as ill. Because Listen, when you have to make a you know, if food cook a yard, everybody will eat. People are going to eat. Food cook a yard. You want to go far in. And after two weeks, your sister, your family member, somebody will really can't put a close in the country. Because it's a different culture over there, and for good reasons, maybe, that I'm sure you know, because they don't want us. To have the same Jamaica culture But wars are being fought. Choose your battles carefully. 
because even though their wars be fought in family, as it relates to things or legacies or whatever, that side can't agree with this side, or this personality can't agree with this personality's sibling rivalry, or get a war to be fought. But here we have a cosmic war, a war in the heavens, being fought over human beings, and a way to show you as human beings. It never says, it says it, beast war with the rider, and we can presuppose that the rider war with the beast. So it never mentioned human in the passage, but we can extrapolate and put on it. And this is how we're going to extrapolate and put on it. Show you who the war is being fought over. The rider here is Jesus Christ, the one who's called faithful. You see this, you see this warrior? He has everything in the universe. Psalms 24 verse 1. The earth is the Lord and the world and all. The earth is the Lord. The earth belongs to Him. And everything in it. The fullness thereof, it means everything. The world and all who live in it. Belongs to Him, you know. But there's a sense in which there's one single thing that He doesn't have. And that is what He's going to war over. It is the soul of man. He does not have the soul of man. And so he's willing to fight for it. The, the soul of man is belong to him. The devil, who is a beast in this passage, he's warring against the, the rider. He have everything that he forget already, except the soul of man. He have everything. He can't get no more than that away again, except the soul of man. And so the two are fighting over human being. Sir, Madame, Miss Lady, Mr. Gentleman, my youth, my girl. The battle is being waged over you. The battle is being waged over me. The battle is being waged over our souls. Who will win is who you want to win. The winner is the one who you select. If you select the rider, here is my heart, here is my life, then the, the rider would have won that battle for you. If you don't do anything, you don't sit where you are, you don't sit down, you just live your life how you have been living, you just do the things that you continue and want you to do, and then the right and then the beast would have won. That's all you have to do. It's easy for the beast to, want, to win you, you know. Very easy. Just live all you want to live. And the beast would have won. A couple of hundred years ago, during the time of Christopher Columbus, there about, and all of us learned, most of us learned this in school, man believed that the earth was flat. Man believed that the earth was flat. 2,100 years before that period, in the book of Isaiah chapter 40, God wrote that it was wrong. Isaiah 40. Verse 21, verse 22, 21 and 22. Do you not know? Have you not heard? Have you been, been told to you since before the beginning of the earth that he, God, sits in throne above the circle of the earth? God wrote it that you was wrong. Amazing! Amazing! Equally amazing! Um, it's many other things God told the Jews to circumcise the children on the eighth day, the boys on the eighth day. There's a medical fact in that. Because we know for those of you who are here, doctors and nurses and those who do medical life, know that the blood in human beings does start to cut before day eight. If you cut a child before day eight, the child is likely to be bleeding to death. Because don't from pregnant that which cause vitamin K which cause the, the blood to start cutting in our it, 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 it is not ready as yet for today. These are evidence that come so Come on, somebody. These are evidence that come so And so we can we can we can say, who are who are at least let me let me let me read and try to understand. I can't dash the soul. Let me not just throw your name aside. The fears of the boy that is now taking over America. If that lady who was at that hospital desk, the first contact 
with the Ebola patient coming in from Africa. And she just spent time to look at the evidence. Perhaps the man will be alive, perhaps the Ebola situation will have to come in. Here's what I'm saying to you. Don't just throw away the evidence. It is the evidence. Look at the evidence. Because there's some facts in there. Don't reject the things of God. There was a little man some years ago named Voltaire who said, Ha 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 ha! By this foolishness, woman, just your time in the Bible shall be no more rich and that's foolish. One, go on with it. 100 years to the day when he made that statement. His house, that God is judging for us like him. I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you that. 100 years to the day that he, he, he made that statement. His house was turned into the genuine Bible society. Spewing more Bibles to the millions each year. Millions and half a million. I hear that statement. Don't laugh at God. Don't laugh at the word of God. Don't laugh at the principles of God. Because even today, moral principles are built on the word of God. Don't shall not kill, don't shall not steal, don't shall not commit adultery. But here's it. There's a war fighting being fought away. It means that you're important. It means that you're important. Anybody fight over you, you're important. No, so when you're in the inner city, and the girl, then when, when, when one girl wants to show up for one girl, she said, Well, I am not going to fight over you. I am not going to make a woo. So you understand. In the ladies, you know it. In the ladies, you know it. Anytime you have men and sisters who are willing to battle over you, the big, big, walk on the table and say, Oh, you understand what I'm saying? Because you have choice. You have the power of choice. There are two ladies that are fighting for you. None of them can be if you don't decide. None of them can be. But if you don't decide, sir, you have already decided. If you don't decide, you have already decided. If I take something of value out of my body, something of value, and I say to you, sir, do you want this? If you sit right, you don't reject it. If you want, you will pray. Yeah. The Lord is calling you. And he said, come to me, all you who are fearing and are fearing I will give you rest. He wants your soul. But he wants your soul for a good reason. He wants your soul to bless you. The German, the, 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 the German passage, I want to Bless you and hope and a future for you. To bless you and to give you hope and a future. There's future with the rider. There's none. No good future with the beast. No. The beast, the Bible says, the beast came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. The beast has no good intention for you. The, you know what the beast wants for you? Madam, sir, you know what the bees want to do? Symbolically, I'm not saying that this is all. It's symbolically, cut off your head and put your head on this wall as a trophy. You ever go into some places and see the head of animals or whatever as trophies? People stuff animals and stuff. That's what the bees want. But God, Jesus Christ came that you may have life and have life more abundantly. Today, if you hear his voice and he's calling you, Harder not your heart. I am reasoning with you today. Today we're not um we still have no system, today we're not preaching. Sometimes we preach and run up and go and make noise and but I can't preach to an audience like this. I have to reason with you and show you the points, logical, synergistical points, step by step, to show you. First point, there is a God and He's willing to give everything for you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in Him should not perish, 
Boleh aku menasihkan Boleh aku menasihkan Boleh aku menasihkan The wages of sin That's what he said to you And he said to you Hold on to me All ye who are weary And are heavy laden I will give you this You know the Lord love you the Lord love you. The Lord will be an everlasting love. The Lord will be. And you know what? Time, accident, and cross, and bump around the people. Trump and your worst name of someone. And he protected you. He shielded you. He gave. It's like. It's, it's, it, it, you ever see a child running across the road and a mother running and put her puppy in front of traffic and take it? Fifty days. Trust it to the people. I've heard stories like that. That's what the Lord is doing for you. He's calling you. He's calling you. He says, Come. He says, Come. He says, Come. And Jerry, folks, I leave you just with a thought. When you look at the center of the program, you see a collage of pictures. Happy moments in the life of Catherine. Happy moments. Family oriented moments. <coughs> Earlier this afternoon, we saw the relatives in a circle of love, not a happy moment. Gentlemen, especially gentlemen, especially the man inside, take care of your family. You may have. Messed up, take care of the family. There's a psychologist by the name of Erickson who has some stages that psychosocial stages that we go to. One of two of them they know very well, the teenage years. It's the last one that I want you to focus on. These are the years, the last stage in your life when you are getting when you're older, perhaps above 50. Going on to 60, 70, and you look back with despair or with integrity, and you say, Oh, if I could be all over again, I would not be in those errors. But even at this stage in life, you can make some corrections. There may be family members that you don't have to go to, apologize. It's a bit hard, but you want to extend yourself to them. Younger generation who may have been hurt by family member fathers and mothers, you may want to extend a hand. It's hard to love people who are gentle, but you may want to extend a hand to them. And I tell you why. There's a gentleman who I know, and he says that he's, he and his brother was neglected by their father. And they moved to big man, to turn big man successful in their very successful gentleman. And he said he had a change of heart and went back and reached out to his father, who had rejected him. His brother said, no, sorry, no, the man that left me and mama and me, if there was something, so and so, me not going. Years later, after the father died, the brother wanted to reach out. But he can't. God has given us each other to nurture and to love. And whenever you see things like this, large of family, do you know one of the most the happiest time in your life for human? I'm not talking from the top of my head, I'm talking from research. The happiest time in a human life is when you sit down with loved ones eating a meal. Happiest time in your life. You laugh and post me talk and you go on the dark and something. Come on, call the family back to you. Perhaps Christmas time is the time to be. When you break all those channels, you know what? Um, you have some dishes and some food in your in your um, bread for that or something. Um, then they are yellow dust. Take them out and wash them off from from uh, from the vapor. Put them back in and you wash them off. Please put um, put them back in. Let me tell you something. When you put food on those china, even if you not even if you not cook, it tastes good. Come on, you know you know them china when they come out once a year. 
here is the idea. The idea is just to gather the family together and extend that unity and that fellowship of love. Come on, I'm talking to somebody. Somebody into me. Yes, we know so the person hit you. We know so the person hurt you. We know so the person miss you. We know because we are human beings. All that we do it in me. Oh God, sometimes we think, this man, this man in my drive, no have a dream, but I want to go on bus, man, bad driving. And some thoughts go in my head. <laughs> yes, man, people. The point of what I've been making is this. It has to live with human beings. Jesus have mercy so that he said, God, God, God. Oh, have to live with people. Many persons tell me story about when chicken bone and lick them and then could move. A lady tell me that she had throw through everything to him and she could move. Somebody in the house, come on, had to reach out for her to carry her. Many persons, when the chicken bone and came into her baby and I even turned it in a sad way where ball and everything done right here, so yeah, I'm wrong. Some of you are two, three years. Listen, my man, people cry like that. Tell me something, listen, 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 Get up off of the tight ball and drop flat, boom. <laughs> One ball, before she like to cry. We need each other, we need human beings. That's the point of making it. And that's why I'm leaving us with I, I, left, I gave us the word of God, but I gave us, I gave us human love. Because the Lord had two commands. People take his ten. No longer ten, just two. In the New Testament, two commands. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, love your soul, mind, spirit, body, everything. Love your neighbor as yourself. And so you love him? No, she, she, she. And so yeah. this, this afternoon we start out with the essence of love. Have you ever seen them just go over and over? Hallelujah. And you came and joined me. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you thanks for you to our good God. Lord, I pray that this message this afternoon will go into straight to the heart. Move from the head to the heart, to the hands and to the feet. A message of salvation where you understand that this battle, a cosmic battle is being war from a being waged in the heavens. And that they can give the victor the trophy. Lord, I pray that the person sitting here will give Jesus the trophy, the trophy of their lives for all eternity. Lord, also a message of love and unity that we will reach all the family members that we have fellowship with each other in love. Thank you, Lord, for this word in our hearts this afternoon. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, gentlemen. Peace stand. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he dies. And whosoever believes in me will never die. I know that my Redeemer lives, that in the end he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. I will see him with my own eyes, I and not another. For we brought nothing into this world, and we can take nothing out of it. Lord has given, Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For as much as it please the Almighty God of his great mercy, to take unto himself the soul of Catherine K. Lee, Lee, we hereby commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection of eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change her vile body, that it may be like his glorious body, according to his mighty workings, whereby he is able to subdue all things to himself. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this day we give you thanks for the life of Catherine. We're not praying for her, Lord, because she has passed from this life to the next. But we pray for those who are standing here, or even seated, that they may understand that in the midst of life, there is death. But Lord, 
We pray for them also that you bless them and keep them and work in them. And that truly, that your word will penetrate their ears sanitary, that they be given glory unto your name. Lord, we pray for health and strength for everyone, especially for the family we pray for, that your word will continue to sustain them and support them. We continue to pray blessing. We continue to pray your peace over the family. We continue to pray your sustenance. And we continue to pray unity. Father, bless Jesus' name we pray.
family is inviting you to come spend a little moment with them, spend a the time with them. At one Chatham Avenue, Kingston 10. Oh, Chatham. Chatham. One, it's on the back of your program. So please go and prove it this afternoon because there just be laughter and good friendship and good food. Chat on. Let us pause for time. Lord, it was good that every one of us to be here, especially to be with a family who is in mourning. Lord, we thank you for them once again and we continue to ask your blessing over them. We ask your blessing over the entire audience who have been so good, so gracious. Thank you for them, Lord. And now, may the love of God, the fellowship of His Holy Spirit, rest, remain, and abide us. Now, for the Lord Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for inviting me. Your rest, peace, and joy.
me now, do more than I can.